My name is Kate Fraser. I am a science teacher at Perkins School for the Blind in Watertown, Massachusetts. As a teacher at Perkins, I really enjoy the students' enthusiasm about learning science. When I began teaching at Perkins, the adaptations that we used were very low tech. As things progressed and technology became more popular and more accessible to our students, now we use much more technology than we've ever used before. In our chemistry labs and biology labs, as well as our physics labs, we've been using data collection sensors with the laptops and the LabQuest. Using the sensors and the speech output, the visually impaired student would be able to participate fully in science labs. The technology that we use has made it so much easier for the students to collect data independently. STEM education is important for all students, and for students here at Perkins, it opens up a number of careers for them that would not be possible. Anything that a sighted student can do in the science classroom, a student with a visual impairment can do. They will have the skills to compete when they're in the job market. So I would really encourage science teachers to have this equipment in their, in their classrooms to use in labs. SciVoice Access Software adapts data collection and analysis tools for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics courses. With these tools, students who are visually impaired can achieve independent access to information and hands-on participation in the science laboratory. Visit our website, independencescience.com, for more information on accessible science technology and how to empower your students with the Talking LabQuest. Lab access for all.